hey guys welcome back to my channel today i'll be doing a slime review for an overrated slimer known as slime obsidian which you can find here on instagram unfortunately i wasn't able to get his bestseller ultraviolet but i did snatch a bunch of other great looking slimes which you will see in this review there on the side of the screen is a receipt for my purchase and a little sort of guide as to what you'll be seeing in today's review so without further ado let's get into it the first slime we'll be reviewing today is called spongebob jelly which is obviously a jelly scented pineapple because who lives in a pineapple under the sea spongebob square pants yes indeed anywho i wasn't a huge fan of the scent on this it was a little bit too strong for me and maybe a little too artificial in my opinion The initial feeling of this slime was very enjoyable. I liked how thick it felt and it was sort of like juicy, I would say. But after taking it out of the container, it sort of went downhill from there. It was really rippy. It had a slow stretch and it left a ton of residue on my fingers from the snow. But after a while, it did inflate and sort of get better texture wise. Overall, once the slime was inflated, it did give off really nice and crisp bubble pops and you can listen to those here. This next slime is called Blue Moon Icy, which is obviously an icy scented mango strawberry, which smelled similar to chapstick. Again, scent wise, this wasn't my favorite, but you kind of get used to it. As far as icy textures go, this one was more on the moist, wet side, which is actually not a problem to me because it's more realistic to an actual icy. The snow did kind of get under my nails easily and leave a little bit of residue, which you'll see at the end. But it's totally fine because a lot of ices do tend to leave residue and snow fallout. Next up on the roster is Birthday Cake Cloud, which is a cloud scented birthday cake. Side note, something funny came into my mind right now. The first three slimes actually have the texture in the name. Like how convenient is that? 
Anywho, the scent on this one is pretty self-explanatory. It's very realistic and smells exactly like cake. Despite this being a cloud slime, it actually had some really decent sizzles, which I'm very surprised about. Aside from that, the drizzles were more on the slow side. The drizzles just wasn't giving what it was supposed to give. Also, the rainbow bees were really cute in the slime, but they did fall out, which was kind of annoying. But what can you do? This next slime in the review is called Sour Patch Whip, which is a frosting texture slime scented Sour Patch. Now, the scent on this one was way too strong and overwhelming. It was not a good sweet scent and it definitely did not smell like Sour Patch candy at all whatsoever. But it's not his fault because I actually do own this scent as well and find that it also still does not smell like Sour Patch. I will blame the manufacturers or whatever, however that goes, that's who I blame. The texture of this slime was very dense and it felt more like a dry butter, which I actually enjoy. As you can hear, the bubble pops on this one are super crisp. I'm not even gonna front because of the scent being super strong like that and overwhelming i didn't play with this for as long as i could have i probably haven't even opened up the slime since i got it to be honest just because it's super overwhelming but that's just my personal opinion Next up, we have Fruit Loops Milk, which is a thick and glossy scented Fruit Loops and is definitely by far my favorite slime out of all of the slimes from this whole purchase. It is super thick. It smells exactly as how you would expect it, which is super realistic to the actual cereal. The base of this slime is extremely thick. And I loved the pokes and just the gloss was just, it was just everything. I'm not going to talk too much about this slime, but just watch this clip and you'll see why it was and is my favorite thick and glossy slime to own from anyone else other than me.
next slime I'll be showing is called Kiwi Cubes, which is a clear jelly cube scented kiwi. You can see here and earlier in the beginning of this video when I was unboxing the slime, you could also see that the slime did leak, unfortunately, a little bit. But I think what may have happened was that the slime was overfilled in the container, which is why it's sort of combusted on itself. This slime had a really nice stretch and crisp bubble pops and it didn't really inflate. Also, not all of the jelly cubes could really squish and I think that's just having to do with the cubes being more on the larger side. The last slime I'll be showing in today's review is called Bubble Bath, which is a clear glue slime that also comes with a clear glue microfilm as well as cute little ducky charms and it is unscented. My favorite part about this slime would probably have to be the semi foam top portion because it was just super stretchy and super non tacky which I was actually really surprised about because as I said in my other videos a lot of clear base slimes tend to arrive sticky and oftentimes melted. There was a very generous amount of glitters and it was super fun to assemble and super easy. In order for it to stretch better and to not tear as much, I did have to stretch it more slowly. But other than that, it was still a very fun slime and it inflated about 4 to 5 more ounces than its original size. Look at how fluffy she got. Anywho, thank you guys so much for watching this YouTube review of Slime Obsidian. If you guys want to see more content from me, make sure to follow me here and here on Instagram and TikTok. If you watched this video all the way to the end, comment down below which slime was your favorite. Also, let me know who I should review next. Drop all those suggestions down in the comments. Thanks again so much for watching. Until next time, bye!